previously on The Walking Dead. While searching for a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin. And AJ pulled the trigger. I told AJ that what he'd done was murder, that he'd have to atone for it. The other kids agreed. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Violet in the bell tower. We looked at the stars together. Violet is a great friend. Those are rare. Then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Lewis. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone. But we knew someone who did. the start, I was so little, and, and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes, but he was always nice to me. Now he's gone. Stabbed in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name. Mitch was looking after all of us. He gave his life so we could go on fighting. I know that. Doesn't make it any easier. He'd want us to find our friends and bring them home safe. And he'd want us to kill the people who took them. Abel's tied up in the basement. He passed out from the pain. Thanks. AJ wanted to stay down there and keep an eye on him. Hey, buddy. It's time for us to bury Mitch. And say our goodbyes. I'll help you. Get carry. away from him! You're the reason he's dead! Willie! Well, it's true! We had a plan and that idiot messed it up! Come on, Willie. None of this is Ten's fault. You know who's really to blame. I can't believe you're defending him! This. This is bullshit! Ten! Let me handle this. Talk to Abel. See if you can't find out where Lily took Vi, Omar, and Asim. I wanted to hurt him, you know, to make him talk, but I just couldn't. Maybe you'll get more out of him than I did.
should be strong enough to hold him. Brody. Got your gun back, huh? Uh-huh. <sighs> Ready? from his afternoon nap. I was having a nice dream, too. About a girl I used to know from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. <laughs> Got any water? Drink. A good man or squirt? <laughs> You've had your water. Now it's time to talk. It's the first time interrogating someone, isn't it? <laughs> you let me dictate the agenda. Makes me think you're weak. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's gonna turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she... <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? That ain't five-star. Tell us where they took our friends, or she'll do it again. <laughs> Lily will never give them up. The only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me for three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back at the Delta, we're at war. With some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say, point the guns the way we tell them to. I don't give a shit about your war, or your fucking Delta. You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home, built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I do a lot to get my friends back, so stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. The answer to all your questions. Read it. Whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud among the beasts that shall ye eat. What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? Smoke will clear my mind. Help me remember stuff. Now that is heavenly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of blood. Oh, fuck. 
This is not good. He's gonna die, isn't he? I hope so. And I hope he suffers every moment till he does. You're gonna get your wish. When you push me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. Shit. I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No! <clears throat> My, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for my body to turn on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise you won't let me turn. I'm begging you. If you're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. Okay, we have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. You, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Please, I don't want to turn. Not that. I want to let me keep my face. You don't need to watch this. I want to. At least you can't hurt anyone anymore. Yeah. Come on, we have a boat to find. Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was! Mitch died because he- Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, there it is. You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. Have you ever seen this thing before? No way. Pretty sure I would have remembered an old-timey riverboat. And from where I'm sitting, looks like that pier is the only way inside. Well, let's see what else is down there. The pier.
pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. I can see an entrance. Yeah. There's one at the other end of the boat, too. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. Don't boats have brigs? Boat tails. Maybe, but where? Now that, I, I, I don't know. There are a few on deck, a couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Wait, I see Violet. Holy shit. This is really it. We found them. No good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Walker! Now we just need, what, a dozen walkers? How hard could that be? Maybe not as hard as you'd think. Anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. Are those torches? I think so. Could be easy fire. Setting the hay on fire would get their attention, scare the horses too. We could get on the boat easier that way. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. Anything useful? Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. More torches. Torches? We could use the fire. Oh, yeah. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. Plan. Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal those supplies. Yeah, we'll steal their supplies and burn the hay as our distraction. If you're going to steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about? James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. 
Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. Well, hell yeah. Let's find out how much he charges for his services. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the Raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! A raider. Has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Drop it! How many of you are there? How many of who? I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. Eight. There's eight. Clem, stop! Oh. Hey, Minnie. After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um... She died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. Here, Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. Yeah, I'm in charge. And what a freaking fantastic job you've done. Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Marlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did. Like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. What are you talking about? Marlin traded you and Sophie like it was nothing. Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. That is some grade-A horse shit. Clem saved us. You know, Minnie, you sound an awful lot like one of them. That's really close to the speech Lily gave me in the woods. It's the truth. Minerva? Where's Sophie? She died, protecting the Delta. A hero. A hero? God, you're Nerva! Shit. Rockingham! Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Yes, ma'am. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're gonna save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. If Ten could see you now, he'd be ashamed to call you his sister. Are you okay? It doesn't change anything. We still have to get onto that boat. 
You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except Ten. I warned you. Enough. Both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Be safe. <laughs>